Okay, I think I figured it out now. I've been trying to remember how I played this short tune that I composed more than a year ago. It's called The Wolf and the Hare. It's been a while since I played it. So I spent the whole morning trying to decipher the notes that I used. Because I didn't take down notes, I didn't create a tablature of it, nor was I able to record a video of myself to, to be able to see which part of the fretboard I was pressing over. So, I think I remember it now. Uh, it's, it starts off with this motive. And then it goes down. And then I repeat it with uh, a little bit of force. line and basically I just repeat the whole thing in a higher with a higher pitch It's quite painful because I'm not using a pick. Um. And I go soft again. phrase if I can remember it <laughs> and then this last bass line I saw this uh, video the other day, uh, I, I can't remember where I saw it or how I got there, but it was a video of a group of adults and children that were asked the same question and they were isolated to, to give their answer, uh, their own unique answer. So the question was, if there was one thing you can change in your body, what would it be? And so they played the adults' answers first. And halfway through that, I realized I should pause the video and come up with my own answer first before I hear the children's answer so that it doesn't influence my answer, so that I can stick to the authentic adult answer that I would <laughs> give myself. So I thought I would really love to have a longer pinky finger because <laughs> that's always a challenge for me when I'm playing. Uh, like that first first line in the wolf and the hare I, I keep making this mistake I keep hitting the lower note <laughs> and I'm 
quite conscious of the shortness of my pinky finger, so I try to compensate for that, but sometimes I overreach and and reach beyond the fret that I'm aiming for. So it'd be quite nice to have a finger that's a little bit longer than this. <laughs> so it's quite practical, but most of the, if not all, of the answers of the adults were it had something to do with changing their appearance, like a smaller forehead or more head of hair. <laughs> uh, but when I press play again and listen to the children's answers, it was fantastic. Because all, if not all, most of them uh, wished that they, a part of their body would be more like an animal's body part <laughs> or an imaginary animal. There was a, a little boy who wanted shark teeth and uh, a, a little girl who said initially, I, I love my body the way it is, but if there's really, if it's really possible and I could ask for one thing, uh, she said she would love to have a mermaid's tail. <laughs> so let me try to play this whole tune again. <laughs> Hopefully more cleanly this time and my short pinky will compensate well. <laughs> 